Hey there, I'm Keith Farron, and today we are going to do a walkthrough of Bible.FaithLife.com, a free online study Bible. But in case you and I haven't met, as I mentioned, I'm Keith Farron. I'm an author, speaker. My passion is helping people realize that the living Word of God is a reality, not a phrase, that you can not just read and study it, but you can actually enjoy it. If that sounds good to you, well, you're going to want to click that little button down there and the notification bell somewhere here on this page so that you don't miss anything. Now, let's get started. Well, I already have a Logos and Faith Life account. I decided to just create a new one so that you would see what resources are available with the free account and what the experience is like. So when you go to Bible.FaithLife.com, you're going to see this page right here. And... Uh, this is my kind of corporate account for the coaching that I do. So I've already created that account and there it is. So here, when you log in, it will take you directly to the standard um, Bible page with the Faith Life Study Bible open. The beauty of this study Bible is you don't just have access to resources that you can, that you look up and you go and you find it like some other Bible study sites. Um, this one, it actually synchronizes. So as you scroll all of the study Bible materials related to that, whether it's charts or whether it's links to other articles and some of the other free resources, which I'll show you in a moment, it all stays right with you. So all of the study that you want to do can be done right in the same spot. Now you can go here and go type in a topic, type in a passage. You can also um, go over, I'm going to show you, kind of, here's, here's the order. If we go right here to the resources, you'll see different Bibles that you can go to. Uh, and let me click here. Bum, bum, bum not sure why that's not opening up. But anyway, <laughs> I'll show you where the other Bibles are in a second. But the study Bible takes you to this layout. Infographics, there are lots of different infographics here from looking at the temple to, you know, different altar features, different things. It's really a, a robust collection of that. And if you're done with that, you just click right back and it takes you to where you are. Uh, maps, is the, is the one, it's interesting, you won't see an X up here. What I realized is they're taking the maps. There is a physical Faith Life Study Bible you can buy, and I think the maps are in the back of it, like so many, but um, but what it's doing, I mean, there are, there are a lot. I don't know why it's not loading very fast, but um, lots of maps, more than you would find in a normal study Bible. Um, but to get back to it, I just find that if I click over in the Bible and I start scrolling, Kind of eventually it will just kind of pop back there or you can just click into the study bible to get back to there, there are images videos uh, a bible dictionary and then look at this library i wanted to show you this this is at this is the free account now if you have a package logos bible software which is not free uh, then whatever package you have, those resources will show up here too. But I wanted to show you what is available to you for free. Look at this, 52 different Bibles in English and Spanish, and as well as 34 additional resources. Just, you know, dictionaries of the Bible, and if you wanted to get into Latin and all this kind of stuff, but just find that there are some uh, different commentaries, here are all those faith life, the actual specific ones to them. And then, you know, different, um, you know, this is a devotional that's there. there. There are lots of different resources. And let's say, while it defaults to the ESV, if you like something else like the New Living Translation or you uh, wanted to come, I mean, there are a lot of ones that are just included, a lot of the popular ones. And at, you see how I hover over that and that thing? If I change that, then the next time that I log in, the new international version or the new revised, whatever Bible I have selected here will become my default Bible. So you can go right into uh, these different commentaries if you wanted to look at something like that. Okay, going back to the study Bible, I want to look at I don't know why this isn't disappearing. That should be disappearing. Uh, so you can just search specifically the Bible or look what happens when you click this. You can click a Bible. You can click Bible and your notes if you've been taking notes. 
the different infographics if you're wanting to see if it has one kind of what you have open all this entire library all these different or you can select a specific resource if you know that you're looking at it in a specific commentary you were using before so that is another thing here is the daily readings they include a few free devotionals a 365 day one that morning and evening uh, and then they also have look at all these different reading plans so the bible in a year as well as lots of different uh weekly 14 day all these they have tons of different reading plans on different topics that you can just add right in and just so you can see what it's going to look like in a second i'm just going to say 30 days with jesus see what I, what what does on there um and then then i'll show you where that can show up later as you're studying something here you can also make a note so if i come and i've got luke 2 right here i can make a note and i'm just going to show you okay testing this is what it looks like all right so then when i post that you'll see here we go there's the little green uh, icon and the next time you log in all your notes will be there so if you're using this to study a passage you can you can do it like that any resource that you have if you're going to be spending a significant amount of time in that resource you can just go right up here to look at the resource and you'll see one of the options show reading view and now you could just be reading and uh, you know and just be reading and then when you're done you just go right back here and it will take you right back to your place wherever you were with the study Bible synchronized so the I, I mentioned that it's going to show up this, this whole faith life um, piece is I you can set up when you first sign up and register you'll be able to put in like your location and schools you're associated with or whatever and it will suggest to you uh, social element kind of of it. It'll, churches nearby that use this and you can even set up private groups so if you and your small group all want to use this and so you share notes and then you want to be able to see that you can create uh, you can create a small group that only sees this so you see you know all I said was testing this is what it looks like but uh, if you had notes there then people that are part of your my faith life uh, would be able to log in and see each other's notes and comment on it and all that kind of stuff would be right there and then uh, if you you know I already have this open but if you saw somebody else's note in here from your from your small group then you can just click continue reading in their note and it will open that up in a different page and go straight to there now obviously it's taking me to the same place because I clicked on my own note but there, it really, it, it, what they've done, these people who created Logos Bible Software, which I believe is the best Bible software out there, um, the, the, what they're giving away for free in this Bible.FaithLife.com is really amazing. So I highly encourage you check it out. Setting up that account takes all of about 20 seconds. And it, everything that I've shown you here is included in the free account. So check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below.